Let me give you a quick overview of our live stream, which is all about getting started with DDEV for Drupal development. Now, DDEV is a Docker-based PHP development environment. And that means that you run Drupal in a Docker environment locally, and you can also then share that same configuration with other developers. Now we start things off by setting up a Drupal site using DDEV. Now the good thing is DDEV does have these quick start commands that you can just throw into your terminal and get things going. And then we take a look at a bunch of popular commands. Now there are a lot of commands, and I'm not gonna go through them all here. There's a whole live stream about it. And then once we got accustomed to just using it and a few popular commands, then we took a look at how DDEV can be integrated into your editor. So the first editor that we looked at is VS Code and VS Code comes with a DDEV extension. And then from the right hand side, you can actually see all of your DDEV sites. You can see here, I do have a few of them. I did have to delete even more. So from here, I can see a nice over overview of all of the sites. And then I can go directly to the sites. I can open up a SSH session. I can modify a few things. I can just really control the DDEV sites from within VS Code. Now, if you use PHP Storm, there is also an extension for PHP Storm as well. I believe they're called plugins. But if you hit double shift, which brings up the whole pop-up. Uh, I've got no idea what this is called in PHP Storm, but let's just call it the pop-up thingy and, and click on DDEV. You can restart, stop, power down or power off and delete. And you can also share your DDEV environment. Then on the bottom right, you can access any important ports and URLs. And the good thing about the plugin in PHP Storm is that it automatically connects you to the database. So if we click on the database icon here, we straight away have access to all of our tables and our actual database. Now, this can easily be configured. It takes 10 seconds. But the fact that if you do have the extension or the plugin in PHP Storm set up, it just does it for you automatically. 